At St George Football Association we've been really focused on developing our facilities in the area and we're really pleased with the progress we've made the last few years. The development of facilities in the St George Football Association has been much needed for a long time. We've had inferior playing facilities and services which have been a little bit unsafe for a lot of players but we're just delighted with what's been happening. We've got really strong relationships with both our councils, Bayside and George River and uh, through those partnerships and really strong work from the association and our member clubs we've been able to deliver some great results. Picos Park along with Poulton Park, both turning synthetic, and we've already got Adol Avenue synthetic up and running, currently used by local grassroots football clubs, our MPL club, St George City, and we're really looking forward to a number of other projects being delivered in 2020. SGFA are doing absolutely amazing with all of their facility upgrades. In the 2020 season, we're looking at creating the synthetic pitch all across our main field, which will be excellent. It'll be able to uh, allow us to hold more final series games across the board for every team in the association. And just an overall kind of amplified football experience for every single footballer. We're providing much needed, better facilities that are not only available for boys and men as they've been for 50 years, but now we're actually catering for the extensive increase in numbers of women and girls. What we've seen here is another example of funding between state and local government and of course the St George Football Association to build an amenities block the size of this one here at Clayton Reserve and uh, it's a great win for our local community, it's a great win for players. Formerly we didn't have uh, change rooms, we didn't have disabled rooms or ambulant toilets uh, or away rooms or referees room. Um, and we've got a larger canteen. So we're very excited to have this new facility. So we've got new lighting facilities at, at most grounds, having Ador Avenue as a aesthetic pitch, which is now all weather pitch, um, having lights in store, which means now we can play night games as well as weekend games in the rain, having proper change rooms. Never, you know, never had that opportunity where we had change rooms where it was just, you know, it was a small change room and a couple of toilets and that's it. That's, that's been improved as well, so there's been huge improvements. It's going to benefit us a lot because, like, the other clubhouse that we had, like, when it started raining and all that, a lot of rain came through, it started to flood it. And uh, as we're getting the new one up on the higher ground, it's much easier for us. It's good for the disability kids. All of our kids have a disability of some sort, so having the new facilities block with the disabled facilities Bathrooms, access, everything will be great. It's what we really need. Playing soccer, especially as a female player, it's good because now the girls football like community is starting to grow, so it's become more fun. And those facilities have helped really help many of our teams as you know we can now play in like a more professional setting. This is what it's all about. It's got to be equal across the board from male to female, and that's what that's what we're hoping for, and that's what obviously this opportunity will bring to us. The association, you know, I mean, this is what it wants. It wants to have these great parks, great pitches, and great facilities for its young sports people. It's one of the biggest developments in association football since ever. The community will get a lot out of it. It's a 12-month investment all year round. Football will be played for 12 months. We're looking at the long-term benefits, which will result in better football experience for players, football officials, club officials, even referees. For ages, the referees had to get dressed on the sidelines, know where to go, so now improved facilities. These are all great for the referees, particularly on game day, so they've got somewhere to actually get changed rather than on the sidelines. It frees the club uh, from a volunteer perspective um, to focus on the pitch, give that uh, quality of football, be able to play on a quality pitch, be able to train on a quality pitch. Uh, we want to continue and uh, get better facilities, just try and holistically deliver uh, football for not only the grassroots but also the elite pathway and uh, in particular women's uh, football as well.